Y'all, y'all gonna hear my brother in the background because he is knocked out on this couch, so. <laughs> yeah, so bear with me. What's up, DB gang? So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to silk press your wig. So the items that you're gonna be needing is an hot comb, flat iron, white tooth comb, some hair clips. I'm using the Chi Silk Infused Oil, some heat protectant, some foam lotion, regular rat tail comb, as well as my chase brush, powder, and a makeup brush to put my part. Stay tuned. So I'm going to just take my bonnet off. And as y'all can see from the last video I did when I curled it, the wig do still have some light little curls. So, it do hold a curl. So, that's a good thing. Um, as far as the lace frontal, this lace frontal wig is very dense. It's very dense. Like you hardly can see my part in this wig. For some people, that might be a, a big issue. But for me, it is not not a problem so i'm just gonna jump into this tutorial and show y'all how to lay this to the guard guys I am using my John Frieda flat iron I do have this flat iron all the way up to 455 degrees and guys I will be using my Andy straightening comb I did put it up to 15 to so leave the link down below in the description box of where you guys can purchase this um, hot comb from as well as all the products that I am using today I'm just gonna spray that on my hair and a little bit of this chi oil you that much hopefully you guys can see that up that in this wig is very soft I don't get any tangling any shedding or anything and this here was bleached and colored by me I'm gonna take a subsection inside of the two section and I'm just going to clip this up I'm just gonna take my hot comb and I want to get close to the root as possible the, the key factor where you want to factor in the most is the back of the hot comb. The back of the hot comb is where it um, holds the most heat. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to take it back. So I'm going to just do one pass with the hot comb and maybe a few passes with the flat irons. I'm going to take my chase brush. And I want to get close to the track as possible. And just slide her down. As y'all can see, it's nice, straight, and smooth. I'm going to keep doing that until I'm done. So I'll probably just speed up this video. For you guys because it's very self-explanatory
So y'all, I am going to go and play around with this part because it looks crazy and I really don't know where I want it to be exactly. So I'll be back. One hour later. So guys, I had to go in and change that part. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it at all. Like, I had to go in and change it. I have to say that this lace frontal, the frontal part of the wig is very dense. Like, it's very dense, it's very full, it's very thick. So if you somebody who don't like very thick, thick or full frontals you guys are going to have to go in and thin it out um me i that's not really a big issue for me because i know how to try and get it flat as possible but it was kind of tedious i had to go off and take the wig off of my head and put it on the mannequin head and do the best that i could I am going to put the wig back on the mannequin head and tie a hair scarf over it and just let it sit overnight so it could be even more flatter. But like I said, this is the final result and this is Beauty Forever here off of Amazon. I will leave all the information down below in the description box where you guys can go and order this wig from as well as all the products that I use to achieve this look. This is a super easy silk press tutorial. I hope you guys find it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button as well as smash that subscribe button and hit that bell next to that subscribe button. Turn on all your post notifications so every time I upload a video, you guys can be notified. And like I always say, don't forget to be your own kind of you. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.